Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. In yet another attempt to cause as much self-inflicted pain to his country's economy as possible, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz indicated that Germany might cancel the deal to buy LNG, liquefied natural gas, from Qatar. Germany not only wants, but also needs cheaper natural gas resources, especially now. While the cancellation of the already signed deal would send a very strong message of support to Germany's Middle Eastern ally, it would also put an extreme amount of pressure and stress on its already crumbling, weak economy. Several days ago, Qatar's emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani had a meeting in Berlin with Olaf Scholz and Annalena Baerbock. What's interesting is that the meeting did not receive any attention from the press, from the media, because well, it is not really convenient to advertise crucial partnerships with Qatar right now, especially if you've known very well about Qatar's, let's say, sponsorship projects all alone, and you still decided to do business with them because it was convenient then. Olaf Scholz visited Qatar in 2022 to sign an agreement which would secure 2 million tons of LNG every year as of 2026. This deal is now under scrutiny and is likely to be cancelled. As the escalation in the Middle East is unfolding in front of our eyes, Scholz and his coalition did a 180 and are now forced to criticize their imports of LNG from Qatar. The reality is Germany is running out of options. First, it gave up Russian gas last year, cheap Russian gas, the decision which is largely the cause for its economic turmoil. Germany started to buy more expensive gas from Norway, from Belgium, and from the United States, but it hasn't worked in its favor. Here's the official Europe Gas Tracker report for the current year, openly admitting that Germany's and the rest of Europe's uh, gas consumption is too expensive, it is simply not sustainable, which is one of the main causes why these economies are declining. The EU's current dependence on gas has also become increasingly expensive. The latest data from the European Commission show that between July and September last year, EU countries spent 101 billion euros, an equivalent of 109 billion dollars, on gas imports alone, which is a 249% jump. Just think about that, 249% jump from the 29 billion euros spent in the third quarter of 2021. Moreover, current gas storage surpluses do little to guarantee the availability of gas in future winters, as the EU faces a tight gas market until new US LNG export infrastructure comes online in 2024. So effectively, the Global Energy Monitor is telling us that even stored inventories cannot guarantee that manufacturing and consumer demand will be met this year. That is how bad it is. Of course, there is the option to continue spending billions on imports from Norway, the United States, and Belgium. But let's be honest, can Europe truly afford it? And if so, for how long? This is why Germany was absolutely desperate to use Qatar's resources to alleviate some of these pains. But of course, its Western allies are strongly against it. Officially, Germany entered recession early this year in April. Its economy has been in a recession for three consecutive quarters now. In September, it was actually reported that Germany's manufacturing continues to decline and the largest producers decide to move their factories overseas. It is becoming increasingly obvious that a quick recovery is likely not in the near future. Germany's economic stagnation is so deep that the International Monetary Fund, IMF, actually predicted that Germany would be the worst performing major economy this year. Its growth expectations are virtually at 0%, I believe they stand at 0.3%, which isn't much better than the growth expectations for the EU as a whole. The truth is, Germany cannot survive without foreign natural resources, without natural gas. The core of its economy is manufacturing, and if manufacturing stops, Germany will remain on its current path to a slow and painful decline. The European Union is the world's top gas importing region. 
it derives more than 80% of its annual consumption from foreign imports. Although Germany and the EU are trying to build their own infrastructure, it will take years for them to be self-sufficient in that regard and to be able to meet the demand. For example, Global Energy Monitor is reporting extensive capital expenditures that are needed for Europe's proposed and under construction gas pipelines and LNG terminals. You see here that the gray areas indicate proposed infrastructure and only a small fraction of that proposed infrastructure is currently under construction. That is the purple section. This is decades of construction and billions of dollars worth of work. To be exact, Global Energy Monitor estimates that it would cost Europe approximately 53.5 billion euros to build this out. How likely is it when the EU is struggling economically, socially, and now there is a looming possibility of a war? Whether the deal with Qatar will fall through at this point in time is uncertain. But what is certain is that Germany's and the EU's actions and policies do very little, arguably nothing at all, to promote stability, to promote peace and common sense. These economies can barely afford peace at this point in time, let alone a full-scale war. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to give it a like and consider sharing it. Subscribe to my channels on Rumble and YouTube. I highly, highly encourage you to follow me on Rumble. I would love to have you back for my next video. And if you enjoy reading, find me on Substack for more content. I will see you in my new one soon. Bye for now.